of this symposium, Nishinomiya Yukawa Memorial International Symposium, uh, on what is right, uh, next hundred years of Yukawa's dream. Now, uh, first of all, I'd like to introduce a telegram. Uh, this telegram is from Mr. Satoru Yamada, uh, who is an, the mayor of Nishinomiya City. Now, let me read it, the telegram. The telegram is uh, addressed to uh, the Toru, Mr. Toru Eguchi, uh, the director of the Yukawa Institute for Theoretical Physics. Now, uh, congratulations on the opening of the 23rd Nishinomiya Yukawa Memorial International Symposium on Theoretical Physics. We hope that you will enjoy the advancing autumn in Kyoto and that your days will be fruitful. Best wishes for a successful symposium and for the advancement of theoretical visits. Satoru Yamada, the mayor of Nishinomiya City. Thank you very much. Now, uh, this symposium could not be held without the support of many people and many organizations. But then in particular, uh, this symposium is the result of the great efforts of Dr. Murase attending here, uh, who is uh, belonging to the Yukawa Institute and chair of the organizing committee of this symposium. Now, uh, please, Dr. Murase. Some uh, plausible answer to this long standing problem. 
I believe that one of the most important uh, concepts must be new sports uh, complementarity principle that opposites are complementary. For instance, uh, in a classical theory, particle phenomena and wave phenomena are mutually uh, exclusive and even contradictory. But from a point of view of quantum theory, uh, they are merely the different aspects of the same phenomena as uh, complementary. Interestingly, the core of the deep uh, insight seen in the Eastern philosophy resembles this complementary idea in modern physics. The famous Indian uh, legend tells us a crucial story. Six blind men touching an uh, elephant uh, answered that it was spear, fun, snake, rope, tree, or wall. All these are right, but also they are wrong, too. Incorporating all these oppositions, we can only get a real answer. Along this line, Professor Aji Mola will give a talk uh, on double-edged sword of neural plasticity in health and disease on this symposium. Complementarity <coughs> has attracted many uh, artists as well because of its visual symmetry. Dutch artist Escher tried to demonstrate complementarity based on understandable patterns. He first considered single motif and its mirror image. In order to figure out the uh, given uh, space, here the background and pattern are completely complementary. When you are looking at red pattern, the surroundings are becoming background and vice versa. Boundaries have just two functions that are aging uh, patterns and background at the same time. Escher then developed double meanings of oppositions by using two motifs. One is pessimist, the other is, uh, one is optimist, the other is pessimist. He finally tried to create the nature of infinity by making a circle. Actually, in this drawing, two opposed uh, motifs are walking to the center. When they meet, they shake hands with each other. This drawing, therefore, indicates supra-complementarity. Just like Escher tried to figure out the two-dimensional space, scientists try to figure out the empirical space through the development of theories. I found this diagram from the, the developmental psychologist Jean Piaget's book. This is only the generalization of Niels Bohr's complementarity principle. Piaget also considered how we obtain the concept of number during the development. He mentioned that there are some critical ages around seven. And before the critical period, children knew individual numbers. But after the critical period, they created the concept of number based on complementarity of equality and inequality. As a result, we can now know almost infinite numbers. Irrespective of details, I believe that there must be some common features behind evolution and development in general. When I rotate this diagram and press it vertically, we can get three-dimensional uh, diagram between so-called spiral diagram between so-called uh, objective exoworld and subjective end system. I call this end exocirculation. There are two uh, opposed planes denoted by yellow and red 
colors. Projecting the three-dimensional feature onto the vertical plane and horizontal plane, we can get two different types of patterns. Interestingly, in the region of Eastern world, very attractive patterns have been drawn again and again. They are called mandala. Mandala is therefore the symbol of oppos opposition, complementarity. Mandala on this side, I think it corresponds to vertical view, is called Taizokai, which represents female. This is used actually in the poster here. Psychologically, it means the structure of unconsciousness. Mandala, on the other hand side, which is called, uh, uh, which corresponds to horizontal view, and which is called Kongokai. This represents male. Similar patterns appear successively. This means that the evolution or uh, development occurs as time proceeds. So this mandala is thought to be the dynamical process of consciousness. Actually, psychologist uh, Carl Gustav Jung has been very interested in mandala as powerful tools for curing psychologically ill persons. Connection of oppositions is his very famous words. I ask, asked Professor Mot, uh, Motohiro Yoritomi, president of Shikin University, uh, to give a talk on Mandara. Through these sketches, I would like to suggest that continuous incorporation or uh, end circulation must be a universal process among diverse life phenomena, such as the origin of life, uh, present the cellular uh, process and the cognitive function, <coughs> recognizing unassociated un thoughts as the pattern of a night or a pause through so called closure. Professor David Lima uh, of University of California at Santa Cruz will give a talk on origin of life, especially as he will discuss encapsulation of macromolecules by membranous vesicles seems to be a very interesting process leading to the origin of life. Now, I would like to mention that life can be defined as a process of index circulation. There are continuous division and reconstitution of different kinds of position, positions as indicated that by this figure. I think that self-destructing features such as aging and age-related diseases, which are the topics of Robert, uh, Professor Robert Arden of Wayne State University, may be considered cohesively within this framework. Here, I have to tell you one important point, as it is essential to take into account of successive oppositions, we should never forget to consider about the entire opposition to the emerging uh, wholeness. Then, the actual wholeness com completely contains self-similarity. <coughs> Such a deep consideration was given by Japanese philosopher Kitaro Nishi. He clearly mentioned absolutely contradictory self-identity. This view indeed seems to be very influential because we generally think of ideal case alone. For instance, when we are talking of developmental uh, psychology, we never consider about the environmental pollution. But according to Nishida, we also have to consider completely inverse relationship. It is recently well known that when the man-made chemicals are present, expert knowledge is completely destroyed. Children never draw usual female figures. I'm afraid that electromagnetic pollution might be additional dimension to this problem, 
This is the reason why I asked Professor Liu Salford to give a talk. Uh, he is the institute director of Lund University. About, he is talking about biological effects of electromagnetic fields on the last day of this symposium. This might be another inconvenient truth next to the global warming, strongly cautioned by former Vice President Al Gore. Now he is a Nobel Prize winner in peace of this year. This is the mainstream how I organize this symposium on what is right. I am sorry not to mention all the contribution Peter's name in this introduction. Before uh, closing my talk, I would like to mention one thing. Uh, because uh, Mark's talk was cancelled, I would like to ask the, uh, Professor Forman to move into the morning session instead. I hope through the whole week program, all the participants enjoy discussions on interdisciplinary subjects. I also hope that intergenerational communication will be facilitated uh, towards future collaboration. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for a nice opening talk. Now, uh, for time schedules, uh, we are very, uh, sorry, for having uh, time for only one uh, brief comment or question, if you have. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much again.